Some encouraging signs this afternoon as crews are making progress fighting the electrifier. Some evacuation orders in Amador County have been downgraded now. Yeah, live copter three was over the fire during our noon hour and crews still hard at work dropping water on flames and also hand crews out there on the ground cutting containment lines and they are gaining ground. Cal Fire says there was no significant growth on the fire last night and containment is now up to 10% and that was as of this morning. So here's a look at the latest evacuation map in Amador County. You can see it's changed. Deputies have removed the road closure at the intersection of Lower Clinton Road and Butte Mountain Road. All residents along Clinton Road and Butte Mountain Road in that area are able to go back home. It's clear to do that. We have this information on our website as well. Just scan the QR code on the bottom of your screen. We have Lime Team coverage for you this afternoon. Let's begin with KCRA 3's Lizay Mitri. She's live now in the community of Pine Acres in Amador County. What's it like out there right now, Lizay? Ty, we're here at the end of Clinton Bar Road. You're facing about southeast toward the canyon where the McCollumy River runs, and you can probably tell it's pretty smoky, hazy. We're getting a little breeze that's kind of blowing around that ash in the air right now. Um, you might be able to hear the helicopters. We've been seeing them going to and from, from Lake Taboo over back in that area. And then a little closer on the hillside, if we can show you where this backfiring operation was that uh, Cal Fire had been working on, you can see a few hot spots uh, smoldering right now. That area uh, was burned up on purpose, of course, to kind of uh, get rid of some of those fuels leading up to the dozer line that leads up to this community where some of the homes are wanting to protect those homes. Uh, we also checked out Lake Taboo. Check out what the sites were like over there. That's where the helicopters are filling up on water. It's about four mile drive from where we are now, and we got this incredible close up view of the helicopters that are helping fight this fire, filling up with water at the lake there. We watched as the Chinook just hovered so low over the lake, sucking up the water with that hose. Cal Fire says it can carry up to 3,000 gallons of water. So it was floating there for a few minutes, refilling. Then we watched it take off, leaving a trail of mist in its wake as it moved toward the canyon where that fire, the electrifier, has been burning. We also talked to a woman out here in this community of Pine Acres who lives here. She was on vacation visiting family in Washington for the 4th of July when she learned about this fire and she said her stomach was in knots and she ended the vacation early to get back and make sure her home was OK. Of course, she was uh, feeling nervous, came and checked everything out. Of course, at this point, no structures have been burned, according to Cal Fire, um, but she felt better just kind of seeing it and you'll hear uh, more from her coming up on KCRA 3 News at 5. Reporting live in Amador County, Lizay Mitri, KCRA 3 News. All right, Lizay, thanks for that update. We'll check back in at, at the 5 o'clock hour. And we continue our team coverage now with Chief Meteorologist Mark Finan tracking the conditions there right now, Mark. Yeah, conditions continue to be quite favorable. Temperatures not all that hot, not all that windy. Humidity is still relatively favorable for this time of year, especially, and also encouraging that we haven't seen a lot of growth on that fire in the last 24 hours. Here's the wind that we have have right now. Once again, the same wind we've had the last few days during the afternoon hours. It's generally westerly or going up the canyon, if you will, and that'll continue for the next few hours. And then later on tonight, this is around 430 uh, this afternoon, and then later on tonight, we will see that wind shift around just a little bit. By the time we get to around midnight or so, the winds will diminish. And then overnight, those winds will actually turn back down slope. See how the wind comes back down this way? So we saw it this morning. We'll see it again tomorrow morning. The winds in Calaveras County, well, they're going to be light. And so the smoke coming off the fire will drift over McCullough Hill and probably farther to the south toward Angels Camp as well. And then during the day tomorrow, we will once again see that smoke turn around and go back up Canyon. Very similar to what we've seen today. Back to you. All right, thank you. We were able to get out to the evacuation zone in the early morning hours as well today and Brian Hickey takes a closer look at the efforts to protect homes. We're very close to the head of the electrifier here at the end of Clinton Bar Road, and I want to show you what crews have done to protect the homes here in this community. It all starts further down the hill where you can see a pink line. That is fire retardant that was dropped here as a first line of defense. Behind that, fire crews then backfired the dry grasses and uh, brush that was in this area, so that created a black line of defense. And behind that, we have a dozer line, which further protects the homes, and along that, they have run hose that gives them access to water to cool down any hot spots that get a little too hot 
for their comfort. All of that to protect the homes in the Clinton Bar Road community, Quell Drive, and that area. This is what it looked like when we first got here this morning. There was active fire down in the canyon, but with temperatures in the low 50s and humidity up around 90%, that was a slow moving fire that just slowly came up out of the canyon and then bumped into this robust line of defense and everything just kind of came to a screeching halt. And now fire crews this morning are continuing to patrol this line. They've got water out here if they need it and they're cooling down any hot spots that flare up a little too much for their comfort, making sure nothing jumps the line over into this community. So so anyone that lives along Clinton Bar Road, further up the hill in Pine Grove, should feel really good about this line of defense that crews have worked day and night to preserve. On the Electrifier, Brian Hickey, KCRA 3 News. And right now about 5,000 PG&E customers remain without power. That's actually down from about 8,000 yesterday, so they're making good progress. This is a look at the outage map. PG&E says it has de-energized several lines for firefighter safety at the request of Cal Fire. It also says the fire may have also damaged some equipment and crews are assessing that right now. In a statement though, the utility says its equipment was not involved in starting the electrifier.